a super, super quick and super, super simple recipe today, but I swear it's one you're gonna come back to again and again. Today's recipe is teriyaki salmon. Once again, this recipe uses our homemade teriyaki sauce. The recipe is just up here. Please, please do make this. It's so simple and it's such a great shortcut for making Japanese food at home. A couple of salmon fillets and a few other things to go with that too. Some spring onion as a garnish and a touch of ginger. I'll just start by trimming up this spring onion and slicing it for our garnish. Quite often garnishes in Japanese cuisine aren't just there to look pretty. Of course, it's nice that it does that too, but they also add an extra dimension to a dish. For example, this teriyaki salmon is gonna have that fishy, salmony flavor, but it's also gonna be salty and sweet and savory from the teriyaki sauce. The freshness of the raw onion is really gonna lift the entire palate of the dish. Now for my salmon itself. It's a nice looking salmon fillet, sort of a center cut, so it's not too thin on the end there. I've left the skin on, but I've taken off the scales. Because this is quite a thin salmon fillet, I don't want to cut it into too many small pieces. I'm just gonna cut this in half, about two centimeters thick. I want to give these a really light coating with some potato starch or corn flour. So instead of dusting it by sprinkling it all over, I'm gonna use a brush, and just sort of powder puff the salmon on all sides. That's all there is to it really. I'll take my teriyaki sauce, my ginger, and head to the stove. The first thing I wanna do is fry my salmon fillets. So a nice hot pan, get the pan nice and hot before you start, and then turn the heat down after you add the oil and the salmon in there. Just get the salmon cooked through, nicely browned on all sides, and I'll take that out and rest those over here. Now the reason I'm doing this separately, cooking the fish and the sauce separately, is because I don't want to overwork the fish, I don't want to flip it too many times because it will start to break apart and not be very nice. Get the fish cooked right, cook the sauce separately, then put the two together, and it's gonna to taste fantastic. Now I don't want too much oil on the pan here, so just a little bit of paper towel. I'll blot some of that oil away. Now in with my teriyaki sauce. Garlic and ginger aren't usually very common in teriyaki sauces, but I find sometimes when I'm cooking fish, a bit of ginger juice can really help to bring out some additional flavor. So I'll just squeeze in the juice of that ginger. Now as this teriyaki sauce bubbles away, it'll start to form a really lovely glaze that'll coat our fish. So the fish can go back in, just get turned through that glaze. There's a saying in Japanese cooking, cook mochi like a pauper and cook fish like a rich man. What that actually means is when you're cooking mochi, the rice cakes, you wanna turn them a lot so that they don't burn. But when you're cooking fish, be lazy like a rich person and only turn it when you really have to. Then I'll get that onto the plate, a bit of my spring onion, and that's it. Teriyaki salmon. <laughs> 